guys, I just wanted to give you an update. As you can see, I'm not at my house. Um, we're gonna be having a story time. I actually have that like selfie stick now. I'm just blown away by how handy it is. I'm so sorry if I ever made fun of you internally. You're carrying around like a selfie stick. It's actually pretty fucking dope. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a life update um, to tell you where I'm at in my life right now. And as this title completely honestly tells you, I am indeed starting over. So what does that mean? I am starting over, not just in life, um, not completely starting over in business because I still have um, NRA, but I'm starting over in a sense where I am exploring another version of myself. And that version of me is actually caring for a guy that I'm dating. And if you're wondering who he is, it's still a secret for now. I feel like I'm starting over because I've just kind of been in a place where yes, I made the money. Yes, I looked really successful on the outside. Yes, I took vacations and I'm living in a really good place and I look like I have my shit together. But internally, it started to feel like I'm not living a life that felt good for me. And if you knew anything about success and how, how I defined it, I define success as being able to live life on your own terms. If you're not able to feel fulfilled and feel like what you're doing is meaningful, then to me that's not, that's not success. Even though yes, I could have made more money, even though yes, I could have looked more successful, I could have had more luxury, more leisure, you know, more of these things that entrepreneurs enjoy. I started to feel like it's not true freedom because I didn't feel good anymore. And there were days that I would literally just like work, I'll just show you guys. I would work on my laptop and it would feel like my gut is dropping. It feels like I had a nine to five and I don't even have a nine to five. You know, like the reason why I started in business was because I wanted to be able to be free. And it didn't feel like freedom anymore and that's why I'm gonna need to let go of a lot of things. So there's that. I'm also exploring a different version of myself. A version of myself that's almost like wife-like, girlfriend-like. And it's really new to me, you know, like this whole self-exploration, I feel like I'm leveling up. It feels pretty fucking awesome. It's just, I need to let go of a few things. I need to let go of a, of a business that's been successful, that's made a couple millions during the pandemic. I'm gonna need to let go of things that no longer feel good to me, no longer serve that next level that I wanna go to. And the best thing about being young is you can start over as many times as you want. You can fail as many times as you want. And that's why I'm just really like, I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. I feel really good about this. Yes, I still need to like shell out personal money to cover some business um, expenses. But I generally feel pretty good about just not having to do something that doesn't feel right to me anymore. So that's where I'm at. That's where my head is at. That's where my heart is at. Damn, I really love this look. This is, I bought this from H&M. It's so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> this makes me feel like I'm one of those like rich girls from Singapore or China. And I'm gonna be moving out of the condo that I, um, I've been living in for a while now. And once again, that's one of the things that I'm letting go of as well, you know. Guys, I literally feel like a different person. Like, I just cooked um, dinner yesterday for me and the guy I'm dating. He's not my boyfriend yet, so let's just call him the guy I'm dating. <laughs> so let me just show you my setup here. This one is my doTERRA diffuser. And he actually bought me like a $500 set of essential oils, which I will show you guys. So he bought me this set of essential oils and this is $500. 
Um, I don't think I would um, right now spend that much on essential oils, but this is what he bought for us. And boom, some doTERRA essential oils. They smell so good. And I'm just happy, you know, I feel like I'm moving to that next level. I feel like this is exactly what I just, you know, needed. This is the best part about all this. It's that whenever I feel like I'm about to start over, whenever I feel like I am lost or I don't know what to do next, I never really run out of resources. I never run out of support. I never run out of help. And that's why right now, even though I've taken financial toll on one of the businesses that I'm gonna be closing, I... I still feel very supported. I still feel happy. I feel good. I think it's also because I don't attach myself to my business, you know? This business is another entity and I am another entity and that's why I feel like I'm not as attached anymore. I'm not as unhappy about the fact that, oh shit, I'm gonna close a business, I'm gonna lose money. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I'm 22. I can fail as much as I want. I'm single. I don't have kids to support. Thank God. <gasps> Thank God! I'm driven. You know, I've made things happen before. I'm gonna make them happen again. I just wanna be able to do things that feel great to me. I just wanna be able to do things that, you know, my soul feels fulfilled. I don't wanna do things anymore that feel empty. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, yeah, I'm probably still gonna do things for the money that I'll make. I want a majority of my life to be spent in a way that feels good to me, in a way that feels meaningful. And that's why I'm making this move. I am starting over, but this is just the best part. Like, I, Angela, I wish you watched this whenever you feel like you need to start over again. Bitch, you got this. God, the universe has always got your back, even when you were completely broke. And now you're not that person, you're not the same person anymore. You have friends, you have support, you have skills, you have a, you've had successes from growing, from growth, and really, you know, every single time that you do need to grow, you'll always need to let go of something. You'll always need to say goodbye to an older version of yourself. You'll always need to say goodbye to things, to people that don't serve you anymore, that don't have a place that don't have a role in that next level with you so that's my mini story letter to myself so that's it for my life update guys i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know um your thoughts about moving in with someone if you've had any experience if you are scared to try it um i'm a little scared to try it honestly but this is my first time and yeah girl ain't a critter Alright guys, let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I will see you on the next one.